What's up guys, Skibbity Bebop, and we're back for another one. Today we're looking at episode 2 of the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. So, we're up in the tree fort, and, or the sky base rather, and we're about to get, jump down and continue on our adventure. Ugh. No, we're not going to skip that. Let's slide this here. How's that? Okay, much better. So, how are we doing? So, we're going to have to fight this guy. I wonder if this is going to be part two. We'll see. We'll see if this is going to be part two of Captain Spirit versus Snowmancer. <laughs> Next time on Captain Spirit. Oh yeah, I gotta get some of that action too. That would be cool. Seek the magic key to unlock the portal to another dimension. Oh really? Can we go back in the house now? I think he wants to go back in the house now. It is getting kind of cold out here. I wonder if dad's passed out yet. Oh no, he's good. I mean, I guess we were only out there for a couple of minutes, huh? Hey buddy, can you bring me a beer? Okay. Ugh. Come on, do it for the old man. Huh. Your dinner is served. Now that's a nice cold one. Cheers. Man, that was fast, Dad. Well, excuse me. Okay, I'll slow down, Chris. This empty can is evil. Would Captain Spirit take care of it? Really? Yeah. Step aside, Mr. Erickson. Captain Spirit is here to recycle. Hey, <laughs> you better hurry. This can's gonna destroy the town. Mm. Man, that was too close. Thanks, Captain Spirit. I'm always here to lead my team to victory. Huh. So, what do we got here? I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. It smells just like her. <laughs> Locked. I wonder what Dad keeps in here. Oh, Mom and Dad would always let me sleep with them whenever I got scared. So I wonder what happened to Mom. She clearly got like. Dad doesn't Sick or before. something happened. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's music time.
<clears throat> well, that's cool. If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code. Steal one? Chad loves his cancer sticks. Gross. wonder what they taste like. <laughs> this kid gets into everything. <laughs> oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. Yes, this will totally protect me from man trolling. Okay, that's a good start. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. Now oh, it's time to build the rest of my costume. <laughs> All right, hikeage. Too old to be measured now. Too old right? to be measured now, right? No. What? What are you too old for that, brother? Look at you. You're like totally nine years old by now, right? Sorry, Pop. It's war. <laughs> I wonder why Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. Westerland Park. That's a picture. I wish I could have gone on a hike with Mom. Trails of Oregon, Laura Bourne, Dave Griffin. Okay. Hmm. Cities Let's of check the this out. Pain. 50 Western movies to die for. Ooh, that looks scary. I should read that. Okay, so. Really? See what you're doing. Stop it. I didn't do anything. Uh, I hate seeing him like this. Jeez, good job. Chocolate hog. <laughs> hmm. This is a perfect day to watch Frozen. <laughs> Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. Hey, Spider Baby. I think you caught your lunch in your web. And there's a snail moving so fast. He's in one place. <laughs> <laughs> So, let's see. Ah. <laughs> All right, let's start. <clears throat> I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power. Do you need a mask? One more piece and I'm almost done. Ooh, the shark stinger is looking for victims. Look out! Here comes the evil car! Ah! That pedestrian better get out of the way. That was your last ride, Shark Stinger. Yes, Captain Spirit saved us. You'll never run over anybody again. <laughs> Only 
my brain waves can activate the monitor. <laughs> Dad said he was going to fix that last month. Uh, right. At least the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. What kind of a Viking would I be? Ralph the Viking. Let's look at the wish list. <coughs> Dear Santa Claus, well, I think I have been good. Here is my wish list for Christmas. Hot hot dog adventures play box. Okay, so hot dog adventures play I was right. Okay, play box console, black. Drawing paper and pens. Color stricken out. Basketball lessons. Uh, I hate seeing him like this, Dad. You, you sleeping? Yeah, he's out hey, cold. Wake up. Dad, come on. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. Do I look okay? No. I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. Fuck! That's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? You, you told me to wake you up. I thought... I thought you said the pine tree. <sighs> pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're, you know, when you wake up. Don't be a smart ass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is that? Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on them. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. Hi, Chris. How are you? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Just, just, just. Just doing homework, you know. On a Saturday. I didn't know you were such a good student. Teachers must love you. I even saw you clearing the snow out of the front porch. So I hope you don't work all day. Actually, I was going for a nice walk, and I thought I heard a loud noise over here. Is everything okay? Totally. Me and my dad were just decorating the tree, and I tripped over the lights, and the tree almost crashed on me. But Dad caught it, and he fell, so... so... Gee, that's some story. Is everybody all right? Um, yeah. 
Must have been quite a scare. <laughs> I hope you have something else planned for today. I wanted to fix up the treehouse. Maybe Steven could come by and help? Well, that sounds like a fun job for a father and son, right? Uh. Yeah, but, you know, my dad isn't good at building stuff like Steven. Oh, Lordy, don't I know it. And Steven loves any excuse to break out the toolkit to help you. He's way better with hammers than Dad. Yes, he certainly is. Steven would probably build you a tree city if you ask. So don't you dare. <laughs> You're a good son, Chris. Listen, Chris. I'm only steps away from your house. If you ever feel... Scared. You can come visit us anytime, day or night. Understand? We here for you. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Claire. I promise I'll see you later. Creepy. So what did that nosy bitch want? Nothing. <laughs> oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I Just heard it all. Lied I, his got ass off. I tried. Man, I bet you want to tell her what a shitty dad you have. Huh? No, she just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. Dad, please believe me. Jesus. Stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I... You're just... Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I tell me you talk. Stop it. I just, just... I see your face. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Dang. Never. Really? Hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Yes! Yes, you did! No, listen, Chris!
All right, so I can get a little bit of volume in here now, guys. Thank you for watching so much. This has been the second episode and apparently final for now of the awesome adventures of Captain uh, Spirit. And let's look forward to some more of this. So smash that thumbs up button and thanks for watching.